Hello and guten Tag. My name is Max, this is Mac Modify, and this was not supposed to be the next project, but um, yeah, the project I did, I shot the video, I cut the video, I hit export in DaVinci Resolve, and it crashed. And ever since, if I open the project, it crashes again immediately. So anyways, I can't really recall in which uh, video I saw these, but um, somewhere I saw some pretty cool RGB LED tubes and I thought, whoa, that would be a nice project to do. And so I went hunting on the usual places like eBay and Amazon looking for some LED diffuser tube. My plan was to take a diffuser tube, put in some RGB LED strip and I'm done. So. Um, but if you find some actually round LED tubes, they cost easily more than 10 bucks per meter. And I thought there should be a cheaper option. So I searched one of the typical places in Germany where you can find cheap electronics online, which was Pollen. And I found some nice LED tubes, 1.5 meters for 2.9 euro, so let's say three dollar. And so I ordered some, and now let's have a look if these will serve our purpose. So here is an LED tube with a aluminium heatsink on the back. So the nice thing I just noticed is that we have a regular Phillips head screw. So let's and let's have a look if we can if it is glued or not. <laughs> not glued. Oh oh and the circuit board comes right off. So um yeah, this comes straight out. Nice. Oh and it even the screw. It even has a plug. I don't well that's that's nice. Um, I think these are that cheap because they are rated for 350 milliamps and um, somewhere in the data sheet it said 90 to 160 volts. So um, yeah, you need a special driver for these. I think that's the reason why no one bought them. Flip the tube around and on the other side, we have another screw. Also pops right off. Okay, and there is our diffuser tube. That should be pretty easy to separate. Yeah, comes right off. So. I think I'll just use a guitar pick and go along the line. Be right back. And here it is. Nicely separated. Three bucks, 1.5 meters. So uh, now let's make it RGB. Just have to grab my RGB LEDs. As probably many people, I just have a random bag of RGB LEDs. I don't know, the 3M on this uh, never had really good sticking LEDs. Anyways. So there they are. Glued on nicely. Now it's time to get the cover back on, I guess. So the cover should just pop on. The aluminium was a bit longer, so maybe like that. And then I think you can just clip this on. Looking good. Just squeeze it. Yeah, so and there it is. Maybe get rid of the uh, 
tip here and make a hole for the wire and then we can reuse this cover. Anyways, let's uh, plug it in. I just uh, grabbed one of these cheap infrared LED drivers. Um, they tend to flicker and I will probably replace this with something faster which does not flicker that much or at all. But after all, it's just a matter of shutter speed and I'll just try it out here. So let's turn it on. Ah, nice. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Red. Blue. Green. Let me turn off the light and then we'll have a proper look. So, that's the light in white. Um, I adjusted it to look on the camera pretty much as I see it in real life. Um, you can somewhat make out the individual LEDs, but it's not, not too bad, not too shabby. And yeah, the whole project, three bucks for the um, tube, um, the LED, LED strip with the controller, yeah, maybe five bucks. So yeah, under 10 bucks for this uh, LED tube. And you can change the colors to red, green, blue, and now it starts to flicker. And that's the reason why I will change this, um, this controller. The PWM of these cheap uh, LED controllers are not fast enough. And so you can get these, uh, bands on video on certain colors. So back to white. Um, I hope you liked this uh, Lückenfüller video and hope to see you in the next video, hopefully with the real project.